Hello love, so kamusta naman kayo with your daily life? So for the students out there, kamusta naman ang online classes nyo? Are you coping up well or may mga times na gusto nyo na magmura because of frustrations? <laughs> Char! In this vlog, magiging informal muna si Teacher Angel because uh, for I want to talk about something serious and sadding about our profession as teachers. As you can see, our education system is going through a lot of challenging times during this pandemic. So far, next month na yung pasukan pero hindi pa rin kompleto ang mga modules. Nahirapan din yung mga students na maghanap pa rin ng kanilang mga gadgets and computers para sa kanilang online learning. At the same time, nandun din yung part na may possible na maghiraman ang mga students ng modules because kulang yung pondo. Pero despite the fact na ang hirap mag-move forward sa blended learning system because of a lot of complex tulad ng materials na mga bata, uh, financial difficulties, and internet connection sobrang nakaka-prostrate talaga. Ang ating mga guro, ang school administrators, and even the Department of Education are still pushing its boundaries and finding ways para maituloy ang darating na pasukan. It's a shed of light kay papano na nakikita natin na may mga students pa rin na willing to learn. They are still teachers na nagtatrabaho. Pero the sudden part that I want to share with you is the untenured teachers na nawalan ng trabaho. So far, sad to say na may mga students na titigil muna sa pag-aaral because of financial difficulties. Pero some people don't know na may mga teachers din na hindi muna makapagturo or may stop sa pagtuturo for this school year because most of the private schools are temporarily closed because of the pandemic. It could be kulang yung enrollees nila, walang financial support yung school para magpatuloy. At the same time, nahihirapan mag-cope up with the blended learning system na pinapatupad ngayon. So, ang reality is this. So, may mga 500 plus na sinasabi na private schools na nagsara. So, so far sa 500 plus na private schools na nagsarang ito, meron din mga libo-libo mga teachers ngayon ang nawawalan ng trabaho. So, sad to say, I'm one of those teachers na nawalan ng trabaho because number one, hindi ako tenured, hindi rin ako full-time. So, ngayon, ang mga teachers ngayon are finding ways to survive in this pandemic. Either looking for other teaching jobs or venturing to other jobs para may maisustent sa kanilang mga pamilya. And siguro you're probably asking, disensyado na may mga teachers, di ba? Bakit wala kayong mahanap na trabaho? So, to be honest, kung madali nang maghanap ng trabaho mga guru natin, wala nang unemployed na mga teachers ngayon. Pero in reality, ang employment rate ng mga teachers is so difficult, hindi lahat at nabibigay ng pagkakataon para makapagturo or even land a job to different kinds of field na rin or different kinds of professions. So far, according to Professional Regulatory Commission or PRC, marami tayong mga nakalistang lisensyadong mga guru ngayon na actively na nagtuturo or may lisensya. Pero among those numbers, only 50% or, or, or lower than 50% lang yung mga active na nagtuturo especially in this pandemia. So, as you can see, marami tayong mga professional na mga guro na lisensyado, pero jobless, walang trabaho, or nagbe-venture na to different kinds of professions kasi wala silang maturuang eskwelahan or walang tumatanggap sa kanilang eskwelahan. And right now, you're probably thinking na parang Tawa naman, lisensyado naman sila, pero bakit wala silang trabaho? Bakit hindi silang tuturo? Wala bang school na ma-apply yan sila na pwede nilang turuan? Because hiring sa mga teachers are talagang very difficult. Hindi siya yung tipong nagpapasa ka lang ng resume sa kompanya at ma-hire ka na. Hindi po ganun yon. So far, when it comes to hiring teachers, maraming mga factors yan na comes to place. So, number one factor that we have to consider is that yung hiring ng mga teachers is very seasonal. Hindi siya everyday na pag pumunta ako sa isang school is pwede na ako mag-apply. Hindi po ganun yon. So, pag simula pa lang ng school year, ang mga hiring positions sa mga teachers is naka-freeze na yan. Depende na lang kung merong available slot sa mga teachers na kailang i-fill up. Like, for example, nawalan ako ng subject teacher kasi kailangan mag-lead ng teacher. So, the Doon darating yung point na ang mga school is nag-hire ng mga teachers. Speaking of hiring, 
hindi rin basta-basta kami pumupunta sa school lang para magpasa lang ng resume. Marami kami mga requirements at mga papeles na dinadaan sa mga school administrators, sa division of school. When you apply sa mga teaching positions sa public school, talagang sobrang competitive and credible ang credentials mo para makakuha ka. Not to mention the strong backup para makapasok ka. So, take it from me, guys. So, I applied three times sa public school and so far, hindi pa rin po nakuha. Because, sad to say, hindi po talaga pinapalad na makapasok ang mga teachers because of these factors. So, one of it is yung mababang evaluation score mo, like sa demo teaching. Mas marami ka pa dapat na seminars or certification that you have to acquire. At siyempre, for you to become a public school teacher, kailangan you have a multiple times of experience of teaching na. Kasi hindi naman pwede magtuturo ka ng public school sa mga maraming estudyante tapos wala kang experience. So, personally speaking, if you're going to look at that factor, parang hindi pa magiging enough yung experience ko. Kasi kailangan mo maging super excellent para maging public school teacher eh. For that's for me ha. Pero for others na magagaling at super excellent at determined talagang maging public school teacher, it will take them a sheer luck and determination which is usually para makasama ka sa top 3 eh. Because among the 50 applicants na nag apply for public school teachers sa isang school, usually ang natatanggap lang it could be 3 or minsan pa nga isa lang ang natatanggap eh. So the competition when it comes to applying for public school teaching is very tough na hindi maintindihan ng mga tao. So di rin ako makapasok sa public school. So private school siguro, may chance na ako. So, okay sana eh, kung hindi lang pumasok si COVID-19. And, sad to say, like I said, I'm one of those untenured teachers na nawala ng trabaho during the time na malapit na ang pasokan. So, <laughs> ano ba sasabihin to? So, I was out of my private school. Tinuturuan ako on the day of my birthday. Ang saklap. And it took me one month before the school administration decide na hindi na nila ako tatanggapin as their as part of their faculty which i understood because of the pandemic yeah so up to this moment i'm still finding ways to get through my finances and get through all job applications i need to do para kahit pa paano hindi na mamasasaya ang oras na to habang naghihintay ako so by the grace of god i was able to have this blog keep on running for the past five years so I'm happy na so far tong vlogging job na to and doing content creating ang nagbubuhay sa akin ngayon and sa aking pamilya habang naghihintay ng teaching position na mag-open para sa akin so let's go back to the question so madali bang magkatrabaho ang mga teachers? Depende naman talaga na gaano kasipag at determine yung teacher to get any job or to venture to any business eh so, I'm just so grateful with our teachers na nawala ng trabaho, how they cope up. Na kahit na nagtitinda na sila on the streets or kahit na nagbe-venture na, na sila into business, talaga may kita mo yung heart ng teacher na willing to survive, willing to do whatever it takes para mabuhay at mag-succeed sa kanilang mga ventures. So, so far, pwede naman kami mag-ibang professions na lang. Eh. So far, I'm still hopeful na teachers like me can still land a teaching job during this pandemic na para hindi naman nasasayang yung disensya namin. So, kahit pa paano, I still hope sa mga teachers like me na nalay open na wala ng trabaho na so far may mga online classes pa, may mga online tutoring workshops pa na nag-open dyan. Eh, marami pa mga opportunities na pwedeng apply ng mga teachers natin para hindi nasasayang yung mga talentong binigay ng Diyos sa amin. So right now, I'm so thankful because of my website, I work as a freelance content creator and a blogger. I was able to create income on my own using these gadgets that I have and nagpapasalamat na lang ako sa Panginoon na even though na na-lay off ako for this season as a teacher, I still finding ways na for me to know na hindi nasasayang yung talent ang binigay sa akin. Hindi na sa sayang yung oras na nilaan sa akin for me to reflect, to learn more, to discover more. And I'm just hoping for other ten untenured teachers na nawala ng trabaho, tulad ko, na sana magkaroon din tayo ng pagkakataon na mag-rise up sa challenges na to. Itong mga pangyayari sa atin is just temporary. And I'm just making this vlog as accountability for you and me bilang mga teachers na 
we should not take our work or our profession for granted. The mere fact that you're still teaching, talagang blessing ni Lord yan. Unlike na yung ibang mga teachers na hindi nakapagturo, you are still there teaching and you're still finding ways to not just survive but to do what you have to do as a teacher. I hope that you're still fighting, you're still moving forward. Kaya natin to, malalagpasan din natin to. So, I hope and I pray that as we continue to move forward sa darating na pasukan, all my fellow teachers, let's stay strong, let's stay safe. So I hope that you be encouraged by this vlog and I hope that you understand and you appreciate your teachers more.